Can we start to play the two bar chords I find are hardest for people? They're F major and B flat major. Um, so F is the first chord that like really throws people off, F major. And I remember when I first learned it, I was told to do it like this in one of the books I had before I took lessons, and I just had a really hard time even understanding what to do. Uh, and lots of songs use F because it's the four chord in, in the key of C major, which means it's one of the chords in the key of C major, and it shows up in some other keys also. So basically what I've found over time is that the easiest way to learn F major is like this. So no bar at all. And what you do is you can start with a C chord. So what you want to do is get your third finger right here on third fret on the A string, your middle finger on two on the D string, and then you have an open G, then one, and then zero. So three, two, zero, one, zero, and that's C major. So this is a lot easier chord, and most people learn this before, you should learn this before you F major. So once you can do that, put your thumb up here so that you're muting this out, because it's really important to mute this out, not only for C major, but for the F chord. Because if you hit that with C major, it sounds bad. And then what you want to do is also make sure you start to mute the top. So you have C major, and then you can like, even if you need to, you can grab your middle finger and move it up one fret. Up is this way. So see it was here on 2 on D string. But you move it up one fret to 2 on the G string. And now you have a space on that string right above this finger. So if you need to, you can even grab your finger and just put it right there. So now you should have 3, 3, 2, 1. And then this is a mute. So it should be mute. So you would write that as an X on a tab. 3, 3, 2, 1, and then a mute. So this is like the easiest way to learn F, and it's also like a really practical good way to know F. And then what I would do once you understand how to get there, you can just take your hand off. A great way to learn chords is then you take your hand off and then you put it back, put it back down. Because like anyone who's playing guitar, when they're switching chords fast, their muscles just remember how to do it. They're not usually consciously thinking. Maybe in a few cases you kind of consciously think about what the chord is, but that's only if it's new for you. After a while it just becomes muscle memory. So one way to speed it up is you go slow again. Make sure you get it right. So three, three, two, one. This should be muted, muted, and once you got it, then like, just lift, let, take a look at your fingers, and then lift them up, and put them back down, and you can like, shake your fingers out, put them back down, just keep doing this, just keep doing this, like, for a while, until you can, until your muscles will remember it. That's the first way to learn F major, and then I would just spend some time like switching from C major to F, 3, 3, 2, 1. It's also good when you learn a new chord to like try to go like this. I remember like the first year that I was playing guitar, I used to spend a lot of time doing that with all my chords, because a lot of them would have like notes that didn't sound good, just... like learn G and then make sure because when you strum it sometimes you can't tell that you have some rattles in there or some notes that have gotten muffled because a lot of times when you're learning chords like you might accidentally like one finger might be muting something out on accident like on a C chord maybe so you just got to make adjustments the same thing with F just make sure that you can hear all these four notes good for your ear to do this because then like when you switch you start to hear what the differences are between the chords. So I had some rattle right there. That's C major, so we got F. So again it's three, two, three, three, two, one. And take your fingers off, just do this for a while. 
So after you can do F that way, this is actually how I do F more the most often. But once you can do it that way, the next thing I would learn how to do before you do the bar is just to bar this top note up on top. So like we got F right here with this muted. But sometimes you want to hear that top note, so what you do is you got to kind of change the angle. See my thumb had to come down a little bit, because I'm barring this top note. Just that it's on one right there, but I'm just laying it down on one. Sometimes like you can keep your thumb up here and still do it and bar up on top, but it just gets a little more uncomfortable. It's good to know how to do it this way. It's good to know how to do it this way. Then the final step is once you got that, try to do the bar way. The full bar. And in order to do this, um, the biggest mistake I see people run into that prevents them from learning this is trying to, one thing that people do is try to keep their finger really flat. Like for some reason it makes sense when you see people doing bar chords that you would think that your finger would go straight up and down like right on this part of your finger but really though it's kind of like your finger curls a little bit and then kind of rolls on its side. Like if you look at my finger it's, I'll exaggerate it but this is basically what it feels like and sort of what it is happening. It's kind of on its side. It's a little bit curled and on its side. So what I get a lot of people do is they bring their thumb up and they're trying to get their finger flat and then their their shoulder comes up. And it's like really uncomfortable and it usually doesn't sound good. So like when you get your thumb, my thumb's in the middle of the neck right behind here and then this finger just kind of curls and goes on its side. Then really you don't need to push that hard. All you need to do is push hard right here on one. And then I'm not pushing at all really on these strings and then up on the top. Like I'm pushing a little bit, but it's not like I'm trying to get pressure on all the strings. Just there and the top. So we have one, three, three, two, one, one. And this is just a hard chord. So one thing you can do that really helps with learning bar chords is to put thinner electric guitar strings on your acoustic. Or if you have access to an electric guitar, it's a lot easier to learn bar chords on electric. So what I was doing for a while was putting 10 gauge electric guitar strings on my students' acoustics. Like especially like younger kids that don't have that strong of muscles in their hands or like they don't really like the sensation of getting all these lines on your fingers from pushing real hard. Like I have pretty, I have a callus. I can feel a pretty big callus all right here on the side of my finger from doing bar chords. So I mean it does kind of hurt your fingers, especially until your fingers get used to it. So if you get electric guitar strings on here, 10 gauge, like measured by this, is, this would be a 10, a 10. And the rest, as long as they're kind of following that, if you just say 10 gauge when you go in the store, electric guitar strings, your guitar won't be as loud, but this will be really easy to hold down. So again, I would do this type of F first, then how to do that and then try to start working towards this. But if this is hard I wouldn't get frustrated. This took me like a long time to get down perfect. Um, it just kind of happens. Like a lot of stuff with guitar will just happen. Like if you just practice it, like all of a sudden you'll just wake up and you'll be able to do it. So that's kind of like with sports or other things that, that are, um, I mean that's pretty much how everything is. So. So one more time, the F bar chord is one, three, three, two, one, one. And then the other thing I would maybe learn is like, like get rid of your top, um, the top of the bar chord. So a lot of times, like it looks like I'm doing a bar chord right now, I'm actually muting those top strings and only strumming up to there. Another really useful variation of the F chord. So I'm only strumming up to there. Sometimes I do a two note one. But all that comes from the bar chord. So this one, this one, and then finally work towards this. And one last thing I'd say about learning bar chords is if it sounds like this. 
don't worry about that sound. Like, it's hard. Like, some people are real perfectionists. And that's how I was. I, I get really pissed when I can't do stuff and it sounds bad. Or, like, when I'm learning anything and I'm just, there's little mistakes in it. I don't like the feeling of that. But I noticed with my students, like, they get a lot better results if they stop caring. Because I have some students who don't care. That sounds perfect. If you have rattles in there, because what will happen is if you're holding it down right, those rattles will go away within a few weeks. And then, like, meanwhile, you can really learn. You can really learn some songs with that. You can learn some songs with F and other bar chords in it. So if that didn't make sense, just leave some comments or on what maybe is hard about the F chord, because um, it is it is a tricky chord, and maybe I have some more techniques. Okay, bye.